Hi everyone, welcome back to GA Online Teaching and we are busy with the first lesson for grade 8 and 9 we're going to focus on the LCM and the HCF of two numbers, you can do three if you want to but the concept remains the same before you continue, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at GA Online Teaching and you can find the link to my uh, YouTube page below Okay, let's begin. Now, if you notice clearly, I want to find the LCM and the HCF of 90 and 324. Now, if again, if you notice something, I have the product of primes over here or prime factorization. I skipped the tree method or the ladder method on purpose. Perhaps there will be a video whereby I show you how to do that with the use of a calculator. Okay, so... Firstly, when we're busy with an LCM, I look at each different number that I see within my two prime factorizations. The first number is 2, and I'm only writing down the basis, the big numbers in other words. The next number is 3, the next number is 5. Okay. Do I see another different number within my product of primes or prime factorization? The answer is no. And the next step is, from this, you take the one with the highest exponent. Remember that? LCM, highest exponent. Okay, so of my twos, I see a two here and I see a two here. Which one has a bigger exponent? To the power of two. Which one over here? And over here has the bigger exponent to the power of 2 or to the power of 4. Answer is to the power of 4. And obviously I have only one 5 so that will stay to the power of 1. And from there I put this whole thing in my calculator and I get my answer. If I want to go further I would say 4 times 81 times 5 will give me an answer of 1,600. 20. So the LCM of 90 and 324 is 1620. Now we, sorry, 1, 000, yeah, 1620. So let's go over the highest common factor. Now, don't forget to listen very attentively. Now, when I'm busy with the highest common factor, I look for a number that repeats itself in the prime factorization of 90 and the prime factorization of 324. What is a number that repeats itself? And I'm, I'm talking about the basis, the bigger numbers. 2 appears here and here. Right. What else repeats itself? 3 and the 3 repeats itself over there. Alright. Now, does 5 repeat itself? The answer is no, so I don't even consider it, right? So after I found a repeated number, I take down the one with the lowest exponent. So highest common factor, lowest exponent. So of my twos, which one has the lower exponent? To the power of one. Of my threes, which one has the lower exponent? To the power of two. And if I multiply two times nine, the answer is... 18. On to example number 2. Find the LCM of 1350. I have my product of primes so or prime factorization uh, and 1500 and I have my product of primes. So I look at my LCM. Remember I look for each different number that I see. I see a 2, I see 3, and I see a 5. So 2, 3, 5. Alright? Now I take the one with the highest exponent. Of my 2's, which one has the highest exponent? 2 to the power of 2. Of my 3's, which one has the highest exponent? 3 to the power of 3. And of my 5's, which one has the highest exponent? Uh, 5 to the power of 3. And if I calculate that, I should get an answer of 1, th or rather, 13,500. Right. On to highest common factor. 
pause this video, see if you can do it by yourself, and we'll double check afterwards if our answers are correct. So, highest common factor. So, I look for a repeated number, but the one with the lowest exponent. So, 2 repeats itself, 3 repeats itself, and 5 repeats itself. But I look for the one with the lowest exponent. Of the 2, which one has a lower exponent? To the power of 1. Of the 3's, which one has the lowest exponent? To the power of 1. Of my 5's, to the power of 2. And if I calculate my answer over here, this is going to be equal to 150. With that being said, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next week. And until next time.